Hey guys and girls, my name's The Gaming Tech. Welcome on into the channel. We're going to be taking a look at the demo for Pacific Drive. Now, this game I've been keeping an eye on and I'm actually really looking forward to it. I've watched a few other YouTubers play the game and it looks pretty damn awesome, so I'm fairly looking forward to this. So, let's check out the demo together. So, basically, we're facing the supernatural dangers of the Olympic exclusion zone with a car as your only lifeline in this driving survival adventure. So we've got to scavenge resources, load up your trusty station wagon, and drive like hell to make it through alive. So yeah, let's uh, let's check this out and we'll see how much we can play in the demo. Right, okay, so I guess we're uh, I guess we're going. Right, so we've got to stay in the road, so we'll just drive along and hope all's well. Get the foot down. Now this doesn't look like a station wagon. Toggle wipers, here we go. Wow, the weather's fair coming down. Out for a nice little drive in the country. And the 
wipers off, I guess. I wonder if this will have steering wheel support. It would be good if it did. What's that noise? What's the radio? I guess we're going off road. Oh, what happened there? God, I got pulled off the road there. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Doesn't look great. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The car's actually getting pulled away. Oh. What on earth happened there? The Olympic exclusion zone. <laughs> eh, okay, let's go this way. Is that part of my car? Yeah, let's move a bit faster. Oh, there's an engine. Could do an oil change while we're here. Maybe not. Headlight. Well, I guess we're heading for there. Game looks very good. Was the car signaling me? Put the wheel back on. What wheel? Aha. Oh yeah, that's cool. Get in the car. Is there anything we can pick up? Doesn't look like it. Right, come on then. Car's looking a bit beat up, but it's better than what we've got. Back the engine. 
going on but the car's pulling left and right. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get to the safety, there. this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. You close the shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Oh, of course. Right, okay, let's see what we're looking for. What on earth is that? Take fuel can. Oh, that's quite nifty. Put it in the car? Oh yeah. seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. My heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. But that's not doing too much damage. Hey. I think my wheel fell off. <laughs> oh, wow. What's the breaker switch? Oh yeah, here we are.
I'm obviously no. injured or something. Who's there? Oh, the shop. God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Oh, my head. Uh, it's an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol, uh demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and... <sighs> Tell her that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun. Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Ah, God, unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Don't know if that's meant to be like that. Is it maybe like a curtain or something? It's a bit weird. I don't know if that's a graphical glitch or not. All right, okay, so we've got first aid. Pull the car in. So, how do we do that? Put the wheel back on. Alright, okay, right, let's see. It's getting into the wrong side of the car. I'll have to keep remembering it's a lifetime drive. I was getting in the wrong side. Right, so we've got to pull it into the garage. Headset OS. Right, so we've got blueprints. Crude door. Into checklist, okay. Gather the items from an abandoned car behind the garage. For your checklist, search the abandoned car's trunk.
crafted replacement door. So we've got a toolbox, let's have a look. Sign quick slot, right? What's this? Right, so we've got that. Okay, I'm presuming that's a graphical glitch or something. Looks like it could be like a curtain, but I don't think it is. Uh, right, so what we'll gather items from the abandoned car outside. Ah, here we go. All right, okay. Steel door. Damaged it. See, it's a dumpster. What on earth? Oh, yeah, yeah. Get the TDLs. <laughs> oh, no, can we take that? That was through. Maybe we can all get parts. doesn't do anything. Right, okay, craft a crude door in the shop. Let's see. Crude door craft. And there we go. And let's see if uh, see if that fixed it. Right, 
fast. Oh no, need to take that. In fact, can we put that? Right. Transfer. Can we move it around? Yes, we can. the repair party to repair the car. Or maybe that crude panel. Oh yeah, okay. That's fancy putty. Oh, and of course that's a steel door. That's obviously a better quality. There's a crude door. I'm not going to repair that. I suppose better repair that. Is that all we need to repair, or...? Nine eight percent Oh, come on. Okay, let's put it on there, then. Right, fix a flat tire. Scan the flat tire. Here, the flat tire by crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace a tire with a spare tire found in the locker. Let's do the ceiling kit. Um, fix. Flat fix ceiling kit. Where is a ceiling kit? Ah, ceiling kit, there we are. Ah, right, okay, we need glass shards, so, okay, we'll have to use the spare tire and the uh, locker then.
Okay, open inventory. Scan the loose wheel. Quick mechanics kit, right? Okay, so let's scan that. Right, a loose wheel. Oh my word. I thought it was on about the wheel we just taken off. Ah, oh, only is that easy to fix things. It should have been a hammer, not a spanner. Type of mine in the garage, the arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Okay, installed arc device in the passenger seat. Uh, oh yeah. Well, that's fancy. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Oh, that's cool. Pick up the impact hammer. Use a pump to fill the tank. Oh, I like that. Yep, that's a nice little touch. <laughs> Align the car with the charging station in the parking bay. Well, we are sort of in there. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Take a look at the projector against the wall. <laughs> this is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. 
constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Well, we've only got the one option. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. <laughs> That's cool. All right, okay, so we've got a few extra bits and bobs in the car now. Navigation system. Right, take a left, eh? I wonder if the car was wobbling all about earlier because the wheel was loose. So it certainly seems a lot more stable. Alright, okay, so that's how we travel to different locations. Keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The Arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. An impact hammer? But tape and fabric, right, so we need to find the fabric. Let's pin that. <laughs> materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Okay, so Look let's... at you! Out in the zone all on your own! They grow up so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm! Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Right, so it's good the items seem to stack.
wonder if we get bigger backpacks. We'll check out in there. What's it? Oh, lots of stuff. Oh no, what was that? It says trans transmitter. <laughs> Not touch that just yet. Put stuff in the car. Seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. All right, okay. So I think we've built it now. Yeah, there we go. Same quick slot. Yeah. Same. Something's making a noise. Check out over here. Wait, so would that that just Take that, or do we smash it? Oh, smash it. think we can get into there. Oh no, maybe we can. There's must be a gate, surely.
Oh, nifty. Maybe I can't get into there then. Right. What have we got? Smash plasma generators. Now we've done... We've got to find five of them. Now, I think there was something else in here somewhere. Yeah, what, this thing. Let's quickly chuck this in the back of the car. What's that? Relatable flare. Put that there. thing is but we'll stay clear. Right, uh, let's turn this off. We've got to smash these. So we're getting parts from scrapping. It obviously could be very much needed. I'm certainly looking forward to the release of this, and this is coming out on the 22nd, if I remember correctly. It's not long now. I'll definitely be picking this up. Our abilities. <laughs> I 
go back to the car, I guess. Ermorovsky. It's obviously like a barrier. The car's feeling a wee bit skittish again. I don't know what that thing is. Stay clear of the now. Let's go check this bit out. Oh damn, I better uh, switch it off. Very dark. Now have I got flares there? Is that a flare? How do we use it? Oh yep, yeah, there we go. I can use healing item. My injured. got floating rocks and stuff again. Well that thing's following us. I've got myself very distracted. <laughs> this was only meant to be a short demo. Just let you guys see the game. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's call it here for the demo video. So obviously this game does look really, really good. I'm absolutely looking forward to this. Uh, and I'll definitely be picking this up when it comes out, so look out for that. I'll be streaming it over on Twitch, and no doubt I'll possibly uh, do some uh, YouTube videos on it as well.
But as per always, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please do smash that like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll leave a link on the left-hand side to the video series, as well as another video, and a link to the channel on the right-hand side, as well as my Twitch Watch channel. As per always, thank you very much for watching, and take care. Bye for now.